David Greenfeld, Regional Sales Manager with Demir's Braun and Crestline. Uh, we're here today at FDIC 2022, welcome, to talk about Braun's Chief XL Ambulance that we sold to for Corvallis Fire Rescue Purchase. It is a Chief XL on a 2022 F550 4x4 chassis. And I want to introduce Alan and Carissa from Corvallis Fire Rescue, and they're going to tell you a little bit about themselves. Hi, Carissa Kirsch. I'm a firefighter paramedic with Corvallis Fire. I have been working on an ambulance for the last 11 years, and I've been a firefighter for five years. Lieutenant Alan Jones, uh, also a paramedic, been with Corvallis Fire for the last 15 years. So we're going to look at the Chief XL, which is our solid body construction. It's all aluminum construction. Interior and exterior, there is no wood in this ambulance. As I said, all aluminum structure. Let's talk about some of the features of the unit. Right here you have our Easy Glide door, which is exclusive to Braun. And it is a big safety feature as a cruise, as you can see, when you're trying to get out of a unit, you're not opening a door, having a door swing out into traffic and having somebody come by and hit that door and potentially hit you, keeping you much safer. Can you tell us, you were with a competitive brand previously and you, your whole fleet is that competitive brand. Can you tell us why you switched to Bronco? Uh, so we were just kind of looking for some different features. Um, we were looking for a more positive aspect. Uh, one of the things David just mentioned was not having wood inside the interior. So we're not dealing with fixing that issue. So the metal holds up a little bit better. Also, the sliding door is a great example. Not only do we have visible when you step out of the ambulance, but also you can park closer to other cars in the road or closer to the sidewalk because now you don't have that big swinging door sticking out. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of good features about the Braun ambulance as well, and it fits perfectly on the Ford chassis, which we do love. As you can see, you have lots of exterior compartmentation in here. This is a typical ALS inside-outside layout. And all adjustable shelves, so we can fit our kits in there. Let's take a look at this uh, compartment back here. Carissa, can you tell us about what you're going to store in this compartment? Yeah, so love this compartment. Uh, it's got tall spaces for our backboards and our scoop stretcher. This compartment, we're talking about putting a stair chair here at the bottom, and these shelves are also adjustable, so we can potentially move this one down and um, put our auto pulse up there. And this compartment is great because it has easy access for the oxygen tank. Our previous ambulances have the oxygen tank underneath the bench seat, and it's just a whole bunch of work to try to change it out. So this is really nice. You just move the bubble out, put the new one in, and you're good to go. And you can also access it from inside the patient compartment. Come around here to the back of the unit. Uh, you can see that you have you chose all LED lights, which are going to give you much better visibility on the emergency scene and going to your emergencies. You have your uh, reflective chevrons all along the back of the unit. Uh, again, so you're well seen. You chose for the first time to go with a, uh, a, a blackout package on that. Why'd you do that, Alan? Yeah, so uh, Crevasse Fire, we serve right around 700 square miles. So a lot of rural agencies as well as in the city. Um, one of the things is cleaning stainless steel is not always the funnest and easiest to do. So kind of want to try out the blackout. That way we can just give it a quick rinse and it'll look just brand new. So it keeps it clean. When you open your rear doors, this is equipped with the uh, liquid spring hydraulic suspension. So the whole unit will drop down uh, to make it easier for you to access the patient, uh, to load the patient, take the patient back out. Uh, also, uh, when you open the doors, when you do a change of shift, your lights will automatic, your checkout lights automatically come on so that you don't have to fumble for a switch looking for those. Let's take a look at the inside. So you have a new feature on here uh, that I think you guys are pretty excited about. Um, yeah. It's whiteboard walls on both sides <laughs> of uh, the unit. And <laughs> Carissa, why don't you tell us why you like it? I love this feature. Um, 
Have you ever put someone in a trauma system entry with a tag and you have to write it down somewhere? Usually it ends up on the back on of my glove. glove. Well, then when you end the call and you yep. take your gloves off and go, ah. So it usually ends up up here for me. Um, so I love that feature because you can write it down here and when you're cleaning up the back of the medic unit, there it is. Same with using um, like a controlled narcotic. You can write it down and, and make sure that you waste the rest and put it in the book. And it's a greater. Also, if you have kind of a critical call and you have multiple people back here, someone can destroy down your vitals, you don't even need to worry about having your tablet handy to do so. Nice. Um, and then my other favorite feature is being able to write notes like this because drugs do expire and then um, if we're out of something, kind of department-wide, like solumedrol has been kind of back-ordered. So you can say, out of this, back-ordered till whenever. Um, and then right. Pass like it down to, to the next video. Yeah, and I like to write a little good morning or have a great shift or something like that. Nice. Uh, so also, as Alan had mentioned, there's no wood in the back of this ambulance. The flooring is a composite flooring, which is impervious to fluids, much better for biohazard control. Um, you've got some pretty neat features in this unit. You know, don't mind me reaching over you. You've got inventory restocking feature in here, which allows you to open up your interior compartments so you can easily restock without trying to put your new supplies in through your uh, doors here when you open them up. You have an IV warmer. <clears throat> you have uh, sharp storage on both sides so that you have less opportunity to stick yourself. Raise your hand if you have stuck yourself at some point in your career, okay? It happens, but we want to avoid that. Um, as far as uh, safety, one of the things back here is you have your pasture window here to your cab, so your driver can hear what's going on back here and you can talk to them. But also, back here, there's also a camera on the back wall, which will allow the driver to see what's going on back here because uh, we've never had patient break bad on us, right? Never. No, nope, that's, that's everybody appropriate. That's, that's, <laughs> that's never happened. So your heat and AC system. Uh, if anybody's wondering, there's a hole here that is not something that we didn't install. Uh, the hole is here for uh, their uh, narcotics med med vault mm -hmm. to store their narcotics and Schedule One drugs. And then here you have easy access to the Braun electrical compartment, well lit. It's a fully multiplex system, which uh, decreases the amount of wiring in the unit, makes it easier to diagnose if you have issues and take care of. As you can see, there's a lot of safety features that are inherently built in the unit. You have four point safety restraints on all the seated positions. You have your net here. You have easy storage here for your gloves, so they're easily reachable. So that's pretty much the interior. Let's take a look at the. Uh, that's a. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize, Carissa. You were you were talking yeah. about the screens. So I really like this feature because this unit is on this side, on that side, and you can actually access it up front. So I don't have to move around a patient back here or other people yeah. to try to get to our lights or oxygen suction. Uh, we're even changing the heat or AC. We could be back here doing something critical and ask the person up front, hey, hit the oxygen switch for us or, you know, something like that. So nice. I really like that feature. And I think, Alan, you had mentioned something earlier that when you all were making a decision on what ambulance to buy, you found the Braun to be a lot quieter than your current units. Is that correct? Yeah, so again, talking about the aluminum base, there's no wood, there's no rattling whatnot you have in here. The most important thing is we can hear our patient, as we can hear each other, co-workers, whatnot, and this provides a quieter box, which is very important. So uh, that's a, a quick go around of the interior. Let's take a look at the outside. three large storage compartments on this side of the unit. Um, Alan, you were saying that uh, Corvallis has dual role in fire and EMS. Can yeah, you tell so, us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we do both EMS and fire in the same fire department. Um, so one of the capabilities of this is having two to three members on the ambulance. They can store their PPE in there and have SCBAs, 
which is great. So if they were out on a call, they would be able to respond at a fire right after they cleared that EMS call, respond to that fire, and help out the engine crews as well. So it gives them versatile capabilities as well as extra storage on this box. It's great. And with the large compartments, you can see there's plenty of room for their bulky and big PPE as well as SCBA storage. And then you have another large compartment up here for the same PPE and SCBA storage again. Another adjustable shelf up top so that they can have more storage area available to them. In this compartment here, you can see that uh, the suction and the inverter are out of the way, but also protected and give you additional storage in this unit. And there's electrical outlets in here, which helps provide extra charging options, as well as, again, you mentioned storage. So we can use this as a very versatile compartment. So, Chris Allen, we appreciate you coming out. Yeah, thanks for Thanks for it. taking the time to go over the unit with us. Enjoy FDIC.